this video is a quick tip for when we are adding URL actions in our dashboards. I'll see you in a bit. Let's say we have a dashboard like this. And let's say what we want to do is that when someone clicks on a state, they can look up additional information about that state from a website like Wikipedia. If we want our web page to show up within our dashboard, what we can do is introduce a web page object within our dashboard. We can drag a web page object onto our dashboard, and this will be the default destination of any web page we choose to display in Tableau. For now, I'm going to leave the URL blank. So click on OK. And let's space this in a little bit. To add an action, let's go to Dashboard, Actions. And from here, we can select the type of action. Tableau supports many different kinds of actions. There will be a separate video going through all these different kinds of actions. But for now, we are going to focus on Go to URL. For this particular URL action, we're only going to target the profit map. So in here, I'm going to uncheck Sales by Subcategory. We are also going to change the name of this URL action because we want this menu item to be descriptive. So in here, maybe let's just type out look up. Now notice this arrow at the end of the text box. This allows us to add additional context information into the menu item. So for example, we can insert state. What this means is if someone clicks on California, this is going to show California in the menu item. If they click on Oregon, it's going to show Oregon. If they click on New York, it's going to show New York. So in here, look up state from Wikipedia. I've gone ahead and looked up California from Wikipedia. And what we can see in here is there's a specific type of format that Wikipedia accepts when it's looking up states. Right now, we are going to simply assume that all of the states will have this kind of format. So we simply need to copy this URL onto our URL text box. So in here, let's copy this over. Let's put that in the URL. And remember, when we have this arrow, we can insert values that we have from our dashboard and pass it over to the URL. In this case, we don't want to hard code California. We want this value to be whatever state our end users are actually clicking on. So we're simply going to replace this with the state field. So let's remove this. And on the drop down, click on state. And let's click on OK. So let's just test this out. For example, if I click on California, what I should expect is a menu item, a URL action that allows me to look up California from Wikipedia. And by default, this web page is going to show up where we have our web page object. So let's click on this. And now we see the web page in our web page object. Let's try this out for Texas. Look up Texas from Wikipedia. It should do the same thing. Let's try New Mexico. So it looks like so far it works. However, this web page looks really cramped. So the other part of my tip is when you can and if you can, you should use the mobile version of the web pages that you're looking up. So what we're showing in the dashboard is not so cluttered. So how do we do that? Many web pages now have a mobile version. And the mobile versions actually remove a lot of the headers and the footers, and it keeps it really clean for viewing on a mobile device. So for example, Wikipedia actually has a mobile version. If we take a look at this web page, the way we can access the mobile version of Wikipedia is actually by inserting M in between the EN and the wikipedia.org. So let's try this out. So let's go back to our dashboard, go to actions. Let's edit our URL action. Let's edit this. And instead of leaving the URL like this, we're going to insert an M just before wikipedia.org. So in here, dot M dot, click OK. Let's see. Let's look for California again. And we can see that this is a much nicer, cleaner experience. Let's go to Iowa. Same thing. New Mexico. Same thing. And that is my quick tip. I hope you found that useful. I'll see you again next time.